Brilliant Minutes, sponsored by Sinclair Heating and Cooling. For 24-7 comfort, on call. Well, hello, Brad. I want you to meet my children. <laughs> They're all of similar age, Brad. That's going to be tough to Correct. figure out. Well, these are uh, the children of uh, some of the children of the topic we're going to talk about okay. today. Because it's one of those studies where you make this discovery and it's something so seemingly meaningless on the surface and yet it has such a huge impact. Okay. okay? So here is the study, exercise programs improve preschoolers cognitive functions. So let's take a look All at the right. study, okay? They looked at 1,426 children aged three to six. The children were from China, Indonesia, and here in the United States. It included a randomized controlled trial, which means that some of the children were selected randomly. They did not participate in the exercise programs, but they did have exactly the same curriculum okay. otherwise. Okay, right. so they could compare. So additionally, the studies were categorized by the type of physical activity. They were game-based, like little games of sure, soccer, sure. or non-game-based, like calisthenics. Okay. okay. And the duration of the intervention or the study, did they do this for less than six weeks, six to 12 weeks, or over 12 weeks? So there were a lot of variables in play, sure. okay? So let's take a look at what they found. So physical activity. The addition of physical activity had a significant, significant positive effect on focused attention, problem solving, and self-regulation. I mean... Self-regulation at that age. Correct. That, that, this is why you know, right. a seemingly insignificant study points out something really important. But here are some of the details, okay? First of all, this isn't too surprising. When the activity was for 12 weeks or longer, it had the greatest effect. So sure. the more, the better, okay? Additionally, the game-based physical activities were most effective. And think about it, Chris, because if you're playing, like, say, a small game of sure. soccer, which was one of the activities they had, not only do you have the physical exercise, but you have a lot of mental things you're sure. coordinating. You think the game. Strategies mm -hmm. and, and making Even sure. Even at that age, we're covering that strategy. Correct. I got to go to that cone. Correct. Okay. Correct. So it's certainly better than just jumping jacks and running sure. in place and that sort of thing, okay? And there was one other point here, too. Uh, the most significant improvements were observed in children five to six, and they say it's probably because of their higher cognitive maturity sure. to begin with and better motor skills. But even three to four and four to five year olds had some benefit. So again, it's an easy fix. It, it certainly is. But again, it's one of those things where it is slightly isn't... better. Well, in this case, it looks like more, uh, much better than just going out for recess. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And a quick reminder, if you're a preschool teacher or if you're a parent, you want more information on this, as many of you people contact me after we sure. run these stories. I can always send you links if you sure. want to research it yourself because Excellent idea. this is a really big finding. Right, all those and an easy fix. All those little soccer games, I know it's a hassle trucking them there and back, but it's helping, <laughs> it's helping. Well, they're already being at school, so you don't have to take them anywhere. The, the, right. the school's got to formulate the league. I said it was going to be a boon to toddler soccer leagues enrollment in the area, so I think yeah. we're on our way. I think you're right. All right, Brad, thanks yeah. so much. We'll see you tomorrow.